Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to find a coefficient of a particular term in a given expansion. So, let us just go ahead and see how to do this. Okay, right. Let us take a simple example to solve this. So, this is the binomial for which we need to expand. So, x plus 3 all to the power of 8 and we need to find, we need to find, should I say in x plus 3 whole to the power of 8, find coefficient of x to the power of 5. So, what is the meaning of that? The meaning is when I expand this, there will be a term which will have x to the power of 5 find out that particular term and give me the coefficient of that. You got it? If I expand this, I will have 9 terms. Out of the 9 terms, there will be one, one term where the variable will be x to the power, the term other than the coefficient will be x to the power of 5. We need to find out the coefficient of that particular term. What I mean to say is, it will be something like some value n into x to the power of 5 x to the power 5 is fixed and this n we have to find out. First, let us find out where x will have the power as 5. For that, let us go back to our generic term. You can see how crucial is that now. ncr x a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r. This is what we know. Okay, now, let us let us put that and say n equal to 8. So, this becomes 8 C R. I will write down here n equal to 8 a equal to x b equal to 3. So, this becomes x to the power of 8 minus r b to the power of r that is nothing but 3 to the power of r. We are worried about x to be 5 that means my 8 minus r should be equal to 5, right? This is constant. If r is 2, this becomes a constant. Similarly, if r is 2 or 3, whatever the value, these are all constants. This is constant. Actually, this is the value we have to find out once we identify the r. Okay, right. Let us go back. Now, what is this x to the power of 8 minus r? And we need to find out x to the power of 5 coefficient. That means 8 minus r is equal to 5 that gives me r equal to 3. Now, finding out the coefficient is very simple. What I have to find out is coefficient is nothing but 8 c r is 3 into 3 to the power of r that is nothing but 3 cube. So, let us just check this this is nothing but uh, we have to do this work 8 factorial by 5 factorial into 3 factorial that is nothing but 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial 5 factorial cancels this becomes 3 into 6 so this is 56 this is nothing but equal to 56 into 3 cube you know 3 3 is 9 9 3 is 27 so this is nothing but 15 12 that is the answer let me repeat that again See, we have been given a binomial to be expanded and we were told that find the coefficient of x to the power of 5. First, I have to take the generic term and apply that and see for which value of r I will have, x will have the power as 5. So, in the generic term, it says 8 minus r. So, 8 minus r should be equal to 5. Then only I will have x to the power of 5 here. So, once I know that I will have x to the power of 5 here, the coefficient is nothing but the what are the values left out. Now, once we know the value of r, substitute the value of r here and you get the coefficient. That is it. Let us do one more example. Let us do one more example. Right. Interesting? No? Yeah. Let us do one more example. Then we will go to the term independent of x in the next video. Let us do that fast. Okay. Ready? Right. Let's start with this.
let me pick an example a minus 2 b whole to the power of 12 in that in this we need to find out coefficient of I'll say C O E F F of A to the power of 5 B to the power of 7 what's the meaning of that if you expand this there will be a term where A to the power of 5 and B to the power of 7 will be present find out what is the coefficient in front of that, that means n into A to the power of 5 into B to the power of 7 what is the value of n that's what we have to find out again it's the same thing so let's go ahead and put it down in uh, generic term t of r plus 1 is equal to n c r that is 12 c r a to the power of n minus r that is 12 minus r into b to the power of r right now this should be 12 c r this is coefficient I am not worried about this then I have a to the power of 12 minus r b to the power of r this should be equal to a to the power of 5 and b to the power of 7 so you can take any one of them either 12 minus r equal to 5 r r equal to 7 it's a straightforward r equal to 7 now you know what is the coefficient coefficient is nothing but this so minus oh okay I did a small mistake which will be problematic afterwards this is b is nothing but equal to minus 2b right minus 2b so it will have minus 2 whole to the power of r also there it will have minus 2 whole to the power of r so once we know r equal to 7 what is the coefficient let's find out the coefficient coefficient of this term where a to the power of 5 b to the power of 7 is present if I put r equal to 5 this r equal to 7 this is a power 5 b power 7 so the coefficient is 12 c 7 into minus 2 whole to the power of 7 I hate to do this calculations anyway we have to so let us do that 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into factorial 7 divided by factorial 7 factorial 7 cancels I think by this time you are aware of that so I will just put down 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 2 to the power of 7 yes I know this is 120 straight forward factorial 5 is 120 I don't know why I have written it <laughs> that's okay now this you need a calculator because you have to do 11 into 9 into 8 which I think is 792 11 9s are 99 99 8s are 792 into 128 you need to help me out what I will do for this is generally 128 into 800 minus 8 that's a better way of approaching that so that is 1 lakh 2400 and again 1024 that will be 1 lakh 1376 or you can say 100 101376 1 whatever the number it is whatever the format you are looking at okay it's a 101376 and do you have minus yes because it's minus 2 whole to the power of 7 I'll be having a minus also there this is how you find out a coefficient of a particular term you will be given the binomial expansion and you will be asked the variables with a particular value of exponent then you have to from generic equation you have to find out the value of r then find out the remaining coefficient of the generic term that's nothing but your answer thanks for visiting bye for now in the next video we will look at term independent of x how to do that okay right thanks